When the Dark King founded his new outpost in Gut, his decision was met with a lot of skepticism. While people were impressed by the fact that his gang actually managed to fend off big things long enough to build defensive walls, no one thought they'll actually be able to hold the place. And while big things were a major hindrance, they were not the only ones to prey on the weak. Nobody knows how Luathan managed to provoke them, but the first real assault came from the Reavers. This was an acceptable turn of events for the United States administration. The common opinion was that the bandits would fight each other to the death and the big things would then clean the corpses. It would be easy for the samurai to just waltz in and claim the outpost for the empire. Ashes he rises, he looks around, where is he now? The trade and imprisoned for one thousand years, now his free captors will pay their dues. It's time for his armies to grow, and he'll lead them to slay all his foes. Throw Cadlon off of his throne. Hey guys, I'm Kyoko, welcome back to Kenshi, Legend of the Dark King. Welcome back, we have our first proper assault coming towards our base, and it's the Reavers, and look at their stats, 70s, this is the war leader, no, this is the Reaver war boy, uh, war leader, 99 attack, 102 toughness, <laughs> and these guys are in the 70s and 80s as well so good stuff but this is only like one group of them over here there's they, these guys are spread around so as you guys predicted they would get stopped by beakers but I think they would only get slowed down the good thing about it is though it spread them out you can see there's some of them out there and they're coming to ransack town right now uh, oh boy we'll see how this goes also I have named our town broke beak mountain and I believe it was Marty in the comments who gave me the idea for this one so <laughs> I just love this name it's perfect oh uh, well let's see what happens I can hear I can hear a uh, shooting at them oh there's somebody yelling out there I can hear us shooting at them I don't see us hitting them though that guy got hit for 38. Uh, you guys don't need your jobs on right now. Panzer and Behmothian just pop over here. And... Uh, okay, they're getting shot. Nice. They're getting shot at. They're, of course, wrecking this. Hey, Arthur. I mean, if you want to, fine. Go ahead and fix that. Arthur was taking care of the corpses. Now, of course, there's... Oh, Rangers are already just gone. Hit in the head. Very nice. Good, good, good. That guy is gonna go. Now, if they come in groups so small like this, it's perfectly and very easily for us to... Perfectly and very easily, yeah. <laughs> it's very easy for us to deal with, because they won't be able to destroy the gates before we get to them. But if the whole group came at the same time, then they would all just bunch up into the gates and a bunch of them would glitch through. And that would be a problem, because actually fighting guys that have 99 attack right now, well, we might have 99 problems, and that would be one of the biggest ones. But let's get this real war boy, because I have an idea that these guys could be perfect, perfect targets for some practicing for us. What you guys think? So far, it's going well. So I was thinking maybe uh, building uh, like a separate area where you could do some training. There you go. Their uh, leader went down. Spade. Good. Is Are they coming or are they still fighting beakers? I think I think there might be another group. Oh yeah, they, they're, they're fighting beakers out here. They're busy fighting beakers, but you can see their stats are really high, so it would be perfect. Target dummies, if you wanted to find them. Let's actually uh, open this up. Right, you come over here. Actually, Luathan, you come over here. We're gonna go do some Luthem. Lua Theming. A good thing is they have crappy weapons. That's that's a good thing. 
Other than that, well, they have their faction uniform. Nothing special. Let's cut on one. We'll take that, I guess. We'll take that. These guys have shoddy great things. How about you? Refitted blade? You can have it. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Is we gonna, I think... Oh, that's, uh... That's that guy. That guy is dying. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let him die. I think I'm just fine letting him die. Uh, they're yelling out there. Arthur? Where'd you go? You found the corpse. Good. Good for you, buddy. <clears throat> now there's these guys as well. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up thing blue with them. You pick up this guy. Ray, you go pick up Spade Behemothian. If I could click on him. No. Panzer. You come uh, pick up Stacks. Now, right now, we don't have a place to put them. Arthur is also coming. Kind of scared me over there. Oh, we didn't close it that fast, Arthur. Come on, dude. We didn't close it that fast. Get inside, buddy. Thank you. Good. So we have these uh, these captives now that we can totally use. Of course, we're going to have to first aid them. But uh, I guess we'd have to first build... Or build that thing, which we will soon. We don't have anybody operating this stone processor, processor quite yet. We do have a couple people working on these things just randomly. So far, Cryos, what you doing? Cryos, you're the man that's gonna do this. Let's go. Well, look at that. These guys are nice enough to actually fight beakers for us. How nice is that? <laughs> but now let's get them down, though. Oh, there's another beaker. Oh, that one looks like a, like an elder. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Don't really want that one attacking us. Yeah, it looks like these guys have brought friends. Oh, there! Oh my God, it's he's definitely dropping them. It is definitely dropping them. Just need to be careful not to have anybody glitch through. Wait, what was this blood on the ground over here? Ah, oh, you guys didn't heal all of them, did you? You just healed one. Not exactly what I wanted, but Roscoe now got uh, that limp. Could you please go heal him? Ready? You can first aid that guy, but not the other guy, huh? Oh, there's one in. There is one in. Bars is in. I repeat, Bars is in. Behemothian? Get him. Roscoe? Get him. Go Roscoe, everybody's coming, uh, just gotta make sure, let's actually put you guys on hold, nice and easy there, you guys put you on hold, and go there, Behemothian, you actually go fight, you guys are healing over here, Roscoe's got those boys, just gotta make sure that we don't have, Akuma, you come help, yeah sure, that's fine, um, Arthur, you're allowed to help. Everybody's coming now. God damn it. <laughs> Stop this. <sighs> um, what I was trying to say, we want to make sure that that our own people don't start shooting uh, harpoons into those guys that have managed to get inside. Well, I mean, it was only one getting inside, but still. Go get him, boys. Go get him. There's enough of you now to really just destroy him. Luathem, are you carrying that weird guy? Yeah, I guess you can put him down. Poor dude. Lost an arm. Where are you going now? Robotics? Crimson, you might get shot over there. Be careful. You don't really want that. Okay, people are coming back. There you go, you done it. Good job. Let's get everybody off of hold again. That's fine. This guy, I think we're just... Oh, he already died. That dude already died. And this guy, we're gonna... We're gonna deal with him. Uh, drop this blade on the ground. We need some sticks or something like that. Hey, you guys, go first aid him. What? Oh my god, I hate my mouse so 
freaking much. It's the worst mouse ever. It's broken. And I know I've been complaining about it for a while now. And I totally should stop. But, you know, look. It's just opening that. I want to pick him up. Thank you. Alright, we are building this over here. I hope they won't be able to escape to that, but we'll see. So we're building this up. So we can put them in there. The beakers are getting wrecked. Nice and easy over here. There's going to be a nice stack of beakers out here soon. You guys brought me anything uh, useful? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. They're still fighting out there. <laughs> they're still fighting out there. And there's still two groups out there. Kind of cool. Uh, this group is going to be dangerous because these guys are going to actually potentially make it in soon. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely coming. Now the question is, are they going to be... Oh, there's a couple more. We were still clad. And... Opagio. That guy just went down. Now we can't have our own boys... I don't want you guys sitting over here and doing all these repairs like you would want to. How about you actually go build this? You're probably out of resources, so... Let's put you on hold over here. Which will still make you do your job, so get over there. If they get in, we'll fight them. We're not going to be repairing the gates right now. If they manage to get in, that's, that's okay. But I have a feeling our... Uh, our uh, boys are gonna do a good job, but these guys are almost certainly getting through. I don't mind that too much, because we do need to fight. We need to get our practice going, right? Although practice against these guys is gonna be pretty tough. Although they are, they are really dropping, man. These uh, harpoons are doing work. You can see that these, these turrets are not doing much, but the harpoons are definitely doing work. That guy is getting back up, even though he's minus 57 on stomach. That's the toughness. That is truly the toughness of these fools. And yeah, whenever uh, they come over here, we're gonna fight them. And you guys are already carrying some of our prisoners. Did we build these? Yes, we did. Good. Okay. Luathum. Let's put a man inside. Ray. Let's go put a man inside. Behemothian. That's, uh... Is it not you carrying a man? No, it's Panzer. Actually, put a man inside. Good, good, good. Roscoe is over here. Oh, his leg is not in a good position. We need uh, these guys to fight for us. Tinks and Tonks and Steves. And all the good boys. Uh, they, they're not going to make through. I thought they will actually get through. <coughs> but we are strong enough. Good stuff. You see, if they had the whole group here, they would get through. But without a whole group, mm, nope. They're not making it through. And I guess we can say Beakers uh, helped us there. Oh, that guy lost a leg. We were still clad. And now the guy's unconscious. Well, the blood raid against Broke Beak Mountain has ended. We have done it, boys. We have done it. I think we now don't have. Any building materials left? So that's a slight problem. Alright, let's get you back on jobs, boys. You guys can do whatever you want to do. Where are you going? Uh, you're probably going here because Kratos have produced one building material. Uh, we don't have enough power, I don't think. Uh, this wind is so garbage over here, jeebus. Yeah, the wind is not producing enough. That's a slight problem. Who are you guys shooting at still? Oh, this guy, I think. He's getting out there. The legless steel clad. They're not hitting him. <laughs> They're missing him. Oh, look at all these bolts just pop around. Oh, that was one that hit him for 110. Weird he's not bleeding out. Oh, he is hard to hit, is it? You guys... What's your skill with turrets now? Six. Yeah, it's, you know, better than nothing. Greldon's got seven. Thorin Ranger's got 21. Thorin's got some. How about you guys? Seven. Seven. And that's a big thing coming in. Attacking others. You guys, the way you're repairing this, just make sure a big thing can't hit you through this. 
Ah, <sighs> like this. You see, like this. Congratulations. Really, really well done. I'm proud of you. You all got hurt by one beaker. Didn't hit, get hurt much, but you got all of you hurt. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. That's not cool. Quite sure how this happened, but there's a big thing <laughs> on top of a ramp. He somehow teleported on. Uh, that's fun. Also, there's a bunch of these guys coming in here. Ah, uh, that's not exactly great, but looks like Pico is going for it. Who wants to bet there's gonna be some coming through here? Oh yeah. Behematian taunt this one. Stila, Akuma, you deal with this one. Pico is coming up there. Arthur is coming for this one as well. We'll get Lucy coming here. But other than that, you guys come in here and be on hold. Okay? Because I have a feeling a lot of you wants to go over here and get smacked around. And I don't necessarily support that. Let's get you guys and hold it back here as well. Akuma is taking a lot of damage over here. You guys are all getting hurt over here, aren't you? How about you manage to get in here and then swing at it? You go, Arthur is swinging over there. There's a million new people coming in. Oh, I already see that fighting these things in here is gonna be a huge pain in the ass due to the fact that how this is all going. Stop this. Get out of here. Wow, a lot of you guys came over here just uh, to chill. Are you coming to heal? Oh, engineering? Oh my god. Oh, stop it. Fucking engineering. Who told you that you were allowed to have jobs? Get out of there. Wow, that one flew in the air. That's quite impressive. Looks like Akuma went down. Ray, murder this one that managed to get inside. You go take care of this one as well. Just get you guys a bit out of here. I guess you can fix Akuma. You guys did it, didn't you? Good stuff. Somebody got hurt in the leg. Arthur? Arthur's leg is not in good position. You go loot this one that teleported inside. These guys still want to get in here somehow. Somehow, somewhere, but it's not uh, going that well for uh, them. It does seem to be the case, and we can uh, we can definitely loot these guys over here. You know, extra food and resources for us. There you go, that should be all of them done. Get back to jobs, stop being on hold, and do your thing. Now, Akuma is just rebooting, otherwise he is fine. Pika. Get there, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, you kind of need Splint Trigon over here. You do know that, right? Who's gonna teleport through right now? Ooh. This guy's coming. Yellowman. Ain't gonna go well for you, Yellowman. What you guys doing? Uh, did you guys fix Arthur? Arthur's leg? Splint Trigon? Splint injuries? I guess you did. Standing still. Stop standing still. You got work to do, buddy. He's aimless. Dude, there's a corpse. There's a corpse right there, Arthur. You have a job that you're not doing. Okay. Uh, I think he's going for it now. Good, 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 good. And we have some lights over here, but we actually don't have lights. Proper lights. Now, out here, I have now got us some wheat farms. We have some cotton farms, we have some cactus farms, and we even have a vegetable farm. So, all kinds of good stuff that's gonna grow in here. Uh, but we first need to build this well that we do not have building materials for it right now, unfortunately. So, still working on that one, and these guys are of course still in here. So, I was thinking of maybe sending um, a couple of boys out there. Ooh, that's, that's an elder probably, isn't it? Yep, a couple of boys going out here to the town. Picking up uh, all the supplies that we have out there and potentially buying some more building materials if you could. 
then that would make the most sense. Our expedition is on its way and of course these guys these guys have to start. Are you guys on hold? You guys just don't wanna don't wanna play, do you? Fine. Be on hold over there. I'm afraid that uh, these guys will shoot their own people from up top. That could certainly happen. Stevo is coming. Fenner. Ah, oh, doing nice damage over there. Oh, that's an elder. Gotta be careful with that one. Who is this? Shinobi thieves? Where'd you come from, buddy? Where did the shinobi come from? He's just uh, wandering around, is he? He's a wandering trader. Very nice. Okay. So I'm sending these guys back for some much needed resources that we, I mean, should get. Uh, the main issue right now is the wind. You can see the wind is not peachy. Akuma is building this thing, but it's like 7% wind. It's not giving us any power. It's just horrible. Ugh. I'm not, I'm not liking it. I think you guys are all fixed. So let's actually send you out there. And we're gonna be bringing our boy Templar back home with all the other resources as well. I'm slightly terrified of leaving this place be because I have a feeling there's gonna be a big thing coming over here to smack this. And there's gonna be like a hundred people going to try to repair it and they're all gonna get wrecked. But I need to keep them on repairs. Oh, that shinobi's gonna get himself killed. <clears throat> and he's dead. Uh, it would be worth trying to potentially get their weapons. Oh, good. That thing is gonna run around. Good stuff. Let's go. A long time ago, Wildfire led a different life. It was one filled with regal heraldry. Huntsmen sounding their horns and the thrill that came with a victorious kill. His model was programmed to serve as master of the hunt for a royal manor. And so he did, for a one's great house in one's great kingdom. As such, Wildfire trained the house's hunting animals to perfection. They learned through his stern and meticulous hand how to seek out, catch and kill their prey. They also learned his brand of discipline, hard and cold as his crossbow bolts. They sat at heel at the ready and launched out at the crack of the bowstring. When the war broke out, Wildfire's house changed. The world changed. The king arranged hunts, but they were no longer for thrilling, bold game. Now the huntsman horn called out for men, robots, hivers, designees of the state of extermination, mutilation and disappearance by any means necessary. Wildfire's title was now superfluous. There was no longer a need for a master of the hunt. He was now the master of torture, in a house depraved. His once brave and hearty animals were now vicious creatures, known the world over as the savage mascots of his devoted state. One would think that Wildfire's circuitry could cold fuse to not allow opinion, feeling, sentiment would not change, and that he would fit seamlessly into this gruesome new reality. But enduring this pressure was too much and some cogs somewhere in the complex geometry of his motherboard began to grind. This caused a slight friction which warmed his gears, if only just a bit. As the bloodshed continued, Wildfire watched as countless humans and robots, along with his precious animals, were killed, tortured and abused. He vowed it would be no more. He fled like his prey from the blood-soaked kingdom, horns blaring behind him, his beloved animals, his pursuers. Once he escaped, Fire entered a deep state of repose and removed himself from the horrors around him. He forsook the world that was and awaited for one that will be. Countless years passed. That time has now come, and so too has the Dark King. Wildfire will seek out new animals, name them after his most glorious dogs, Roscoe and Pico, from his days as Master of the Hunt. Now model Wildfire will serve a specialist in a new army, specialist in a new army, under a new banner. This will revive his skill and put them to good use once again. The question is, which of those skills will the Dark King request and require? So, Wildfire and your story. I love it. It's awesome. 
really well done, really well written. And this is what I was talking about, about reading the stories. And this is what I was talking about in the previous episode. So you guys, tell me now, did you like it? Did you like the way I've done this? Did you like the way this uh, went? And tell me if there's something I should change. I just let them, you know, run as we were going from here to here. I just let them do that and, uh, you know, focus camera on wildfire as much as I could and, you know, read through the story. Not every story is going to be this long or this short, depending on it. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think of this. Tell me what you think of what we've done so far. Uh, and let me know if this is something you'd like to see more of. Expedition is coming back, but it seems that we have this uh, elder big thing out there, and I'm wondering why not we're not shooting at it. And my guess is we potentially don't have the power. Tell me, we don't have the power. That's not exactly amazing. Would you guys mind shooting it? Okay, they mind. They do mind, but I think they shot something else. I don't really want to uh, open the gates right now, you see. Not necessarily. Who are you shooting at? Are you shooting at this thing? You know, just, just keep on shooting at this thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to eat out here, of course. But the, the main terrible thing in this region here, it seems to be the power. The power is causing issues, for sure. And these guys are going to be causing issues right now. Let's get you out here, no jobs for you. Looks like the whole group is coming in here. We came in just at the right time, it seems. Uh, if we had more power, this would have been great. Now, we don't even have the power to do this. Which means we're going to have to do... Something else for power. The wind is really bad right now. Oh, I don't like that. I really do not like that because nothing is gonna work without power, you know? Nothing is gonna work. We need 48 power to run even the small amount of things we have right now. And we have 13 power coming in. So that's really bad. Good. Now you guys shoot that beaker. Please. So we can get inside. We did bring pretty much all the materials in, so uh, I'm happy, and we also have food. Because uh, these guys up top, I think, are starving already, yeah, because they've been working on that for a while. Mm, yeah, food-wise, we're not that good. Okay, I think I can uh, get these guys inside now, without too much of a problem. Too much of a problem. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's, uh, let's, let's show... Templar, what a nice base we built in, of course, a hellhole of a place. Please go kill the Elder. I don't want it waking up. Thank you very much. Now, I know you guys said I should take the uh, foul meat because, you know, animals can eat it, hivers can eat it. I think I will do that soon. And after I am. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start doing that soon, and we're gonna set up over here one of those uh, places where animals can eat. I think that's something we're gonna do, but for now, let's close this. Oh, look at that. First live traders that managed to get in here. How oh, nice. Hello, traders. Uh, yes, we'll definitely like to trade with you if we have any space on any of our animals, which it doesn't seem likely. Actually, no. Tink and Tonk might actually have some space. Good. Uh, Tonk actually has some food. I did build this over here So uh, animals can eat that and there's extra foul raw meat out there. So we'll uh, potentially Feed our animals with that. But yes, we're actually gonna try training with these guys and they should be happy. There's no uh, Nastiness around here. No beakers. Tonk come closer Let's trade. Oh, you don't have anything useful. Well, how nice <laughs> Uh, can we sell you something that we don't really need? I mean, we have so many animal skins, but these animal skins are gonna be a good training uh, for any of our not-so-good crafters, shall we say? 
so uh, whenever we set it up it's gonna be great I am building another well over here this one just the level one well because this one you know it's not providing us enough uh, water because there's not enough power to actually use it so that's why I am doing that uh, but otherwise we need to whenever we get the power we need to set up in here a shop where we can cook and craft and all that stuff but that's I have a feeling gonna take a bit uh, longer I do have Han over here who is delivering water to these things you know as much water as we have so she's she's working on some farming over here uh, this is just, you know, everything we we have set up right now is just kind of a preliminary because, you know, it's it's all just patched up together. We have Bane and Akuma went to go mine some copper over here. Hopefully that's gonna help us. Do we have any? We do have some raw iron at least. These guys are very slow producing these iron plates due to the fact that, again, no power. So I was thinking we're gonna have to go into a different power different power setting so uh, I was thinking maybe going with steam generator this is a modded thing you can see it provides like 20 power output but you need to give it water and you need to give it coal which is also m mineable out over here we can see wherever it is carbon mine there you go so it needs three building materials and needs three people so we're gonna set up a carbon mining operation somewhere somewhere over the rainbow I don't really want to do it in here I kind of want to set this empty I was thinking of maybe setting smaller houses like on rows over here like storm houses uh, you know so they nobody that comes through here can't go through that and then we would have some extra harpoons in those houses and then they would have to go and fight in here uh, inside those harpoons that could be kind of cool uh, the carbon mine, I guess we're gonna put it out here in this general mining area. I think for building materials, I'm gonna have to set up uh, just one of these, but not one that is powered by actual power, which is kind of unfortunate, but hey. We have some triangle bandits over here, and I'm gonna actually let our boys fight them, because uh, they're just weaklings, you know. Oh, okay, so there's a problem out here. They can teleport up top somehow around this corner i don't appreciate that i don't appreciate you guys uh, going for n473 get him away from here get him away from here start shooting stuff okay I'm, yeah i'm gonna let this be open but around this corner somewhere there's some teleportation issues wildfire can i'm sure do some good stuff over here with his uh katana thing these guys are weak so Oh, look at that, 100 damage to this guy. D-Max, we're trying to attack this fool. Weaklings, all of you. Weaklings. And Hubisi is chopping this guy up, so is Crimson. Damn. God damn it. You guys, get precision going. That's not acceptable. You shot uh, Crimson for a lot. <laughs> in the stomach. And in the leg, I think. Did you shoot him twice? What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? Where are you going, Koyoteno? Medicking outside. I don't think that's where you should be going. Let's get you guys inside. Let's get Steve inside as well. We're going to be closing the door soon. You guys shot Crimson. Just telling you. And you guys are all just stuck over here on this... It's, it shouldn't be like that. He's gonna be recovering coma for a while, and we don't have any bed set up, so we're gonna have to do that. Okay, so I wanted to test uh, how well we can do over here if we were to fight with these guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Han go over here. We're gonna she's gonna give a weapon to one of these guys. Probably not the toughest. Maybe we can give it to Stax, who is not the toughest right now. Because I don't have a good weapon for practice right now. Usually it's best if you give them some crappy uh, rusted junk that is going to just you know hurt you, that can't really get you bleeding. Now this one will get you bleeding, which is slightly unfortunate, but it's the best we could get, alright? So he has 76 attack and 70 defense. So let's set him free. I said set him free. Good. Han pull back. Attack. We're gonna have Guts and Red Ink help in here. 
Let's see how well they can do. How long they will last. Well, they're doing pretty well, actually. Sure, they're getting hit, but it's, you know, it's three versus one. Versus one much stronger man. Let's see how... Uh, how's the melee defense go? Oh, you already took him down. That was... That was really fast. That was faster than I uh, thought it's gonna happen. So I think we're just gonna go 1v1s right now. So we're gonna put uh, Guts and Redding over there on hold. And... We're gonna put this man back into the cage. For now. Put in the cage and then Han... Can give the weapon to this guy. The bars. There you go. And set bars free. And now let's see how well you do. Okay, I'm just thinking that... Are these guys shooting down here? I think they are. I think I did not build this in the best position. But in any case, let's see how well Han does. 29-24 is her stats right now. She's probably gonna get chopped by this guy pretty severely. As you can see. Oh, nice. She's getting some uh, hits in there. Her arm is gone. Hey, he's gonna chop off her arm. Like, very nearly so. Okay, Han, nice blocks there. I need you to get away from here, because otherwise he might go through that. Through the thing. Okay, go fix yourself, Han. And hold. You don't need jobs on, by the way. Actually, we kind of needed her to have jobs on. Because she was doing something uh, special out there. So, uh... Let's actually get you out of here. The man doesn't try to escape, which is kind of cool. You go, Han, you get yourself fixed and then you go work. Okay, Red Ink, you're next. I uh, actually didn't check if Han got any XP. 29, 30. You see, she went from 24 melee defense to 30 in just that short time. So this is pretty good. Nice hit there, Red Ink. Oh, she's gonna... They're going for arms. They're going for left arms constantly. She had to switch to her secondary guts. Let's get you guys both of, off of hold. And guts, let's have you help over here. Nice. Not that guts is good at this thing. Oh my god, he swings it so slowly. Uh, this thing is like 36 kilos and his strength is 47. So, of course, he can't swing that very fast. But now that it's two of them against one man, it's... A lot easier for them. Oh, he's hitting both of them at the same time. There's blood. There's blood happening. Oh, Red Ink is down. I don't think Guts stands a chance now. Han, you go back to doing your job. Uh, let's have Ray go help. Ray go help Guts. Don't get stuck over here, dude. Let's close the doors before anybody else comes. Because they will want to. Okay, Guts, just turn on block for a second. Get your defense up. Okay, get off of block now and let's attack. Now oh, these guys are getting smacked. He's just interrupting constantly. That's why the Katana peoples were doing so much better than the heavy weapon ones, because they don't even have the strength to attack fast enough. They're just getting butchered. Alas, of course. Oh, they did it. Good job. Our beds are all said and done, and people are resting out here. Good for you guys. Uh, over on this side, we're gonna be building our steam generator. Just need some iron plates for that. And in here, we are building some battery banks. So, you know, if we ever actually have any power, we can actually use that. So that could, would be great. These guys are producing plenty of carbon and doing it pretty fast, so that's good. Also, this uh, corpse furnace should definitely be over here, because this is where most corpses are going to be, but... For now, it is what it is, I guess, and it's not so bad, and we actually have some first section of these bad boys growing. I'm happy for that. And it's raining right now, so even better. These ones are all dead. Uh, why are you all dead? Because they didn't get water for so long? Maybe? I mean, they begin getting water. Hmm. I don't know why that one died, but I guess it was last on Han's list. 
and I don't have anybody anybody else assigned right now to water in the crops, which we should definitely do. It's just um, we don't really have people, you know, that we're supposed to be doing that, but that's okay. Uh, we have a couple of spare boys out here, I think. Ray isn't doing anything, but Ray's inventory is usually full. Templar, we all know what he's going to be doing. Hunter, Hunter is not doing anything. Hunter, right now, you will help out here. Not being an engineer, you will help out here. Han can do this all on her own. So, he's going to have to cut it. I know he's not a good farmer. Nobody actually is, I don't think. But uh, he's here just because, right now. Do we actually have extra power? We are actually storing power. What is this madness? Look at these things. They have 41% power. 41% wind. So they're actually producing something. That's amazing. I just love it when uh, big things just glitch through the gates. And then they get to attack all my enemies. And by enemies I mean animals that have been stacked over here. How about you guys get out of here. Fanner, you fight it. Think you fight it. Ray, get out there. Behemothian is coming to tank. And now I need to put everybody else on hold. Out of here before they go and attack. And then you hope. I I hate this. What what is this madness? Come on. How's this shit even possible that all this stuff just glitches through? I don't I don't accept that. Where these guys are gonna go repair and get hit that way. So that's fun. Fenner, you go loot that. There you go. Good for you. That way. Now just kill this thing. It's gonna it's bound to die soon. Arthur, where are you going? Wildfire? Where are you standing, man? You're roboticizing that man. Okay. Behemothian? Go loot over here. You guys haven't glitched through, have you? Not yet. Well, that's good, I guess. That is good. Okay, you guys can get back off of hold. Whoever was on hold. Lucy is just looking at these things. You guys are so ugly, is what he's saying. So ugly. But yeah, we're getting beakers constantly attacking us over here. So, my goal eventually would be, and I have some mods to help me with that is to have some guard posts out here. I actually have mods that allow me for my guards to sit on boxes outside. So what I would do is, uh, whenever we're strong enough, and I'm thinking Panzer and Behemothian would be the best over here, just put them out here on boxes, tank any of these beakers, and we're gonna have Tink and Tong helping them, and then probably Brother Marcus maybe, and maybe some other people that are gonna be, you know, doing that, just standing outside the gates, and pretty much wrecking anything that comes close. There you go, our first Team Jenny is up and running. Ma is uh, doing the filling right now, so that's 20 extra power that we at least have. You see, without that one, we would be in negatives once again, when it would be painful and I would hate it. But just the way it is, okay. We are growing more of these now, mostly thanks to Behemothian, who has been manually getting, your, getting water over here. So that's good, and now we're gonna need uh, some storage for all of these materials that we're growing out here. So we're gonna have to set that up. I don't even know how we're doing on building materials. We have some, so that's acceptable. That is acceptable. Actually, we don't really need this, because I'm just gonna be increasing the size of these. In fact, we should have some extra on some of these animals. Don't know exactly which animals, though, but we do have... Some extra. Uh, Tonk? Tonk's got three wheat straw, some cotton, and some cactus. Another huge group of beakers is here. Look at them go. Even an elder boy that has just collapsed. Well, that's gonna be plenty of meat. And just the way I want it, because Miss Bread over here should be able to go cook. I don't know why she's not. Oh, because I've not done the queue. Uh, Q. So yeah, we're gonna just um, do ro draw dried meat right now. And Miss Brett is doing it again. I build this over here. I think it's gonna be kind of close to all of these farms. It's gonna be pretty good. We are getting some 
which draw up here, perfection. Uh, we need 15 to upgrade this one to M. So we're definitely gonna do that. And we want you to get the extra resources so we can build that. This bread is gonna start working in here, which is perfection. There you go, we have plenty of raw meat and there's gonna be more raw meat incoming. So at least we have some food. I'm gonna send our boy Ray out here because you know, he's the best picker of stuff. Just needs to get rid of uh, all the other stuff that he has. Oh, come on. I don't even know where these two guys just came from. But there's two big things inside, suddenly. Uh, I, there's so much teleporting going on and I don't like it. And now everybody's gonna, of course, rush to the help of these poor, poor animals that are here. And I'm gonna, again, have to put everybody on hold. Because, you know, that's the way it is. Stop this. Behemoth and you go in there. Help these guys. Han. Attack here. D-Max. Oh, they already took one down. That's good. Okay, they already took them down. Is there more coming in? No. Okay, you guys over here that have been on hold. Stop being on hold. Miss Brad, stop being on hold. Okay. You stop being on hold. I don't know why they have such a desire to get in here, this uh, beakers. Oh, look, there's another one going through. And another one coming through. Well, how awesome is that? It's good to have gates. You know what? I'm just gonna let you guys all get hit. Because right now, I'm slightly pissed. I'm slightly pissed at the game that is so goddamn broken that why would you build gates if, you know, everything could just... Oh, there's another one being pushed through. <sighs> and now these, this big boy is hitting everybody over here. Oh my god, is this like the worst game ever? Why would you make it this way? Why would you make it this goddamn broken? Get out of here and fight down here. Seriously. God damn it. Stop this. Just stop this. Wildfire, you got this, bro. I knew it. The good thing at least is that the big the big ones are not going through. The the elders have been happening constantly. Like, everybody is dropping due to the fact that these guys all have AoE attack. And if they just get through the gates, we can't really fight them. You know. It's very annoying. I'm just gonna let them AoE you all, because right now I'm just mad. I'm just mad, and you know when I'm mad? Oh look, there's more coming through. Awesome. Yeah, just, just fight underneath uh, the stairs. Have it teleport up. Panzer, nice tanking though. Are you on hold? Get off of hold. Well, look at Han fly. Han, that was a nice period you did there. Look at how many of these guys got inside. It's just bullshit. It is just bullshit. Arthur probably managed to get outside as well. Or something like that. Oh my god. You guys... Ugh, that was the freaking worst. And you see... How can I even leave this place? If I'm gonna go out there to, you know, do what I wanna do... These things are just gonna keep on teleporting inside the base because the AI won't be able to deal with them. And it's just gonna make me real mad when I'm gonna have to come back and just notice how half of the group is just downed. And I gotta very much hate that. Don't unlock the door. It's inside the goddamn base. Can you pick up Arthur though? I don't like where Arthur is. Look at that. It, these guys took off half of these guys. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta unlock to get to Arthur. Oh, look, there's more coming in. Potentially pushing through. Potentially. How is Arthur doing, though? Cortana lost an arm. Arthur is gonna be fine. There you go. There's the first one in. Good stuff. Thanks. Thanks. Really do appreciate that. Redding is recovered. Come over there. Ah, oh, goddamn beakers. I hate you so much. And your 
nasty ways of just getting in here. Why are you still... What? What? Who put you on block, Ray? Who the hell put you on block? It certainly was me. Oh, look, there's more coming through. <laughs> they're just... They're just like, hey, can you please come in? We have this door that we built that, uh, you know, it's transparent or something. It's great. It's great. I guess, you know, it's still kind of a safe-ish training for us. Because we are still inside, you know. No matter what else you think, we are still inside. So it's not the worst, because we should be able to go heal up. But you can see when you find big things like this in huge groups, four people at the same time gets hit, you know. And when you have a team like that, that really gets annoying. Really, really annoying. And when I get really annoyed, I then let everybody get hit. Because reasons. I'm just mad at the game right now. That, you know, you, you build a gate like this and... They all get inside. Makes me mad. But they're at least dead outside. Um, we're gonna send Ray out there. Uh, Ray, actually, you're you're injured. Let's get Luathan, who is also on hold. Why is half of my freaking people on hold? <sighs> get you over here. You're gonna go save Arthur. Arth otherwise, I think Arthur is gonna be having some issues. And I want you to pick him up. Yes, you see, he's dying. I hate my mouse. <laughs> this is just freaking worst. Are you picking him up? You're medicking him. I fucking told you to pick him up. Did you pick him up? You picked him up. Akuma, get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Let's actually kill some of these elders. I don't want them waking up. It makes you realize we might not potentially have enough uh, beds out here for all the guys that have been injured. Bane is waving at somebody right now. Uh, most of them are getting out of recovery coma, so that's good. That's actually perfect. We still have some animals that are not in such good positions out here, but hey. These guys have uh, fixed the gates and there's <laughs> some good stuff happening. I like it. There's gonna be some of these guys to be burned soon and miss brad should have plenty of meat to cook in the foreseeable future and she is of course doing that we have power over here so you know things are uh, getting there i just you know need to chill out and not be too mad when such things happen uh we also build this uh leather tanning bench over here and we can get all these animal skins put back inside these areas luathem why do you have this on you dude good question but in any case, let's get rid of the skins and let's get rid of the uh, meats as well. And then it should be fine. They say that there's a reason for everything. That no matter what happens, there's always a bright side. A silver lining, if you will. They're wrong. Would you see the silver lining to being brutally beaten and left to die in the Foglands? I didn't think so. But... I'm getting ahead of myself. I worked as a headhunter, traveling to the Foglands and hunting Fogman princes. It was pretty lucrative, but dangerous by myself. So I decided to hire on a partner. Serda, another Greenlander like me, seemed like a pretty decent guy, if a little sketchy, but hell, when it comes to Shady, I broke the mold, so I couldn't hold that against him. We made at least three trips and made a shitloads of cats. Everything was coming up aces for us, so we started branching out. Bodyguarding paid well for a while. We even worked as city guards for a bit. And for the first time in my life, I actually trusted someone other than myself. Eventually, we came to a disagreement. Serda wanted to go into contract killing. That's my, not my thing. We argued, almost coming to blows over the issue. He called me a coward and threatened to quit. I told him to go ahead. I did fine without him, but I knew I was lying. I didn't want to go back to being by myself. When he asked me to go for one last trip into the Foglands, I was over the moon. Figured I could try and convince him to stick around. I thought I was getting through to him. We are friends, right? That's what I get 
for trusting people. That little shit put a knife in me the moment I turned my back. Kicked the shit out of me, too. Bastard even cut off my left arm to make it harder for me. All it did was piss me off. I crawled my sorry ass back to civilization, lightheaded and itching for revenge. After I was all healed up, I went back to work, collecting Fog Prince heads. Don't you dare think that means I forgot about Serta. I very much plan to remove his head with my bare hands when I find him. And trust me, when it comes to taking heads, you'll find no one better than me. Templar. Well then, guys, tell me, did you like our friend's story? Did you like Templar's story? I hope you did, because I certainly, <laughs> certainly enjoyed it. So, another uh, way that we could do storytelling, you know, he's just walking up on top of the cliff and I read what you guys have written because you guys have done some really, really good writing when it comes to storytelling. So, uh, yeah, tell me. This is the major point of this, of this episode. This episode was kind of all over the place. You know, we were building our base over here and uh, I, like, usually... That's not the most exciting thing that you want to put on into the video, but we kind of had to and we had to, you know, deal with the big things constantly. Now, my goal going ahead is to take on expedition our weaker guys, like people like Guts over here, who is in 30s, Maul, who is in his 20s, Han, Red Ink, Crimson, you know, these guys who are not too strong. I want to I want to take them out. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh look, there's another big thing up top, god damn it. Uh, not the strongest boys, I want to take them out there, and I want them to be training. That's that's my goal out here. You know, I want them out training, fighting something that's not big things that can just smack them in one hit. Definitely don't want that. So, um, yeah, that is my goal for the next episode. We're gonna take them out, and we're gonna hope that the rest of these guys that are out here are gonna be able to take care of themselves and stay out here you know and not uh, get AOE down uh, AOE down by big things like these guys over here are doing right now you Steve's go help Tink over there because Tink is not gonna have so much fun so that's that's the goal I think uh, sending it out there while well, I'm gonna leave my toughest uh, Skelly bros back here and hope that they can hold the fort over here and hope that you know they don't all die that'd be acceptable you know uh, we'll see how well we do actually but that would be acceptable uh, hopefully our rangers also take care of these things we're gonna have to take uh, a couple of them with us of course uh, also uh, those guys that will go out there are gonna be out there to recruit new uh, people that are gonna be joining us and we still have a ton of people that we do need to recruit for our actual base needs you know because uh, right now most of the guys we have over here most of the guys that are part of this group are fighters not actual workers and they are doing the working man job so um, that's that's exactly why we need to go out there and you know fix all of that so we'll see how uh, we see how we do that. Of course, these beakers are gonna keep on spawning and attacking us. Now, if they didn't, you know, just get through this, it would be much easier. Now, what we could do, you know, what would be smart if we did, is if we built the walls out here, built the walls out here, and did another gate over here. Now, you know, usually in games like this, I would certainly do that. You know, it would definitely make the most sense, but. There is a slight problem in this game because that tends to break the game you know people will just get stuck outside of the gates and never attack you you know because they will be yeah i don't know confused by what is going on so that's another issue that we have so we'll see i will see how i'll handle this but as i said the major thing here is for you guys to tell me what did you think of the two stories that we told today and did you like how we did it? Why the hell are you guys medicating? God damn it. <laughs> You're the worst. In any case, thank you everybody for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. 
click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I'll see all of you next time. For now, go crowd.